This material is for information purpose only. However no update service will be furnished to maintain current revision. It cannot be relied upon to perform any maintenance task on the aircraft or to meet safety or regulatory requirements. Please do use the current revision and effectivity of aircraft maintenance manual prior to carrying out any maintenance task respectively. Hi guys good day to you all. Welcome to Cockpit Effects presentation. In this slides presentation we are going to go through about pressurization controls and indications on Airbus 320. The green auto symbol on cabin pressure ECAM page shows the landing elevation is provided by FMGS and is based on elevation of destination airport. The landing elevation selector is in auto. Whereas if it shows a green manual symbol means the landing elevation is manually selected through the selector knob allows auto pressurization when FMGS information is not available. The landing elevation selector is not in auto position. The respective selected landing elevation in green shows is automatically selected by FMGS or manually selected by the pilot through the selector knob. The cabin altitude indication shows green when it is in normal range. The digital value pulse is in green for advisory when above 8,800 feet. Whereas it turns to red when it reaches above 9,550 feet. The cabin vertical speed shows in green when in normal range. The digital value pulse is in green for advisory when above 1,750 feet per minute. In here the cabin differential pressure in green when in normal range. The digital value pulse is in green for advisory if above 1.5 pounds per square inch and in the approach phase below 800 feet. Whereas in amber when the differential pressure is less than negative 0.4 pounds per square inch or greater than 8.5 pounds per square inch. There are two safety valves located at aft pressure bulkhead which acts as both positive and negative pressure relief valve preventing damage to the aircraft structure due to pressure imbalance. It shows green closed if both valve is in closed position. Whereas in amber if at least one is not in closed position. Outflow valve position on cabin pressure ECAM page shows green if it is operating normally. Or amber if it is fully open in flight. Pack indication shows green triangle and the wording pack in white means operating normally. If it shows both in amber meaning the pack flow control valve closed with the related engine running. Cabin pressures are controlled by two cabin pressure controllers called System 1 and System 2. When System 1 shows in green means System 1 is active. When system 1 shows in amber means system 1 is faulty. If it shows man, means the mode selector switch is in manual position. The manual toggle control switch is designed in such a way that its spring loads to neutral. This switch controls the outflow valve movement and vertical speed. If the toggle is moved upwards it moves the valve towards open position. Whereas if the toggle is moved downwards it moves the valve towards closed position. Landing elevation selector knob on the overhead panel has two positions. 
If it is in auto position the pressurization system uses the FMGS data to build an optimized pressure schedule. If it is in other position other than auto means that instead of using the FMGS, the pressurization schedule uses the selected value for landing elevation. Auto one of the two systems is controlling the outflow valve. In auto mode, outflow valve are operated by one of three motors, one man two auto. Transfer between the two system occurs 80 seconds after landing or if one fails. Able to select standby system by switching to manual for more than 3 seconds and then to auto back. It uses landing elevation and QNH from FMGS, and press altitude from air data inertial reference system. If FMGS data is not available then it uses captain's barometric reference from air data inertial reference system, and landing elevation selection input. Manual mode uses manual vertical speed toggle control switch to control the system. Fault light amber with ECAM when both automatic systems faulty. If the ditching push button is in normal the system functions normally, the white light is not illuminated. If it is in on position, a white light illuminates and it leads to a closures of Emergency Ram Air Inlet Valve Avionics Ventilation Inlet and Outlet Valve Forward Cargo Compartment Outlet Isolation Valves Pack Flow Control Valves Outflow Valves but will not close automatically if under manual control Cabin Fans Stops Caution, if the ditching push button is put on, on ground with low pressure ground cart connected and all doors closed a differential press will build up <laughs>